Hi, welcome back. I am Narin, and in this video, we will check out uh, the new IT filing portal and how we can do actually uh, IT returns filing, and uh, that for a simple case. Let's assume you have a simple uh, income structure with the salary or pension and uh, maybe some bank interest and uh, we will check how we can easily file it in the new IT portal uh, through online option not the offline one the new uh, portal is eportal.incometax.gov.in you can visit that and log in with your PAN as the user and uh, it will be the same login credentials that you were using with the old portal and uh, then go to the dashboard uh, tab and uh, there you will have a file now option to start your filing for this uh, uh, assessment year so there there we will select the assessment year drop down which will be 21-22 for uh, if you are filing for financial year 2021 which is the latest one and you can select online uh, as the mode of filing and continue if you can't finish uh, your uh, complete filing in a single session you can save as a draft and you can revisit and uh, continue with that if it is for the first time uh, you're filing for this second year, you can start with and uh, you can select the status normally it will be individual and uh, for some it will be in the undivided family or not the others like you use and uh, then you need to select uh, the idea form type if uh, your income is less than 50 lakhs and includes only salary expansion and one house property and uh, any other sources like interest bank interest then you can use then you should use it and for when you pick the idr one uh, these steps will be the process consists of three steps and uh, first it will auto populate um, the information uh, that the tool gets from your 26 as so 26 as is the report based on all the tax paid and the income tracked or your plan uh, as per the income tax department through say the information from the bank through TDS deductions so it will populate uh, your return details like the income and the uh, tax deducted based on the 26 years and then you can cross check them and uh, you can even edit them uh, for any other sources something which is not captured by your 26 years form and uh, then you can confirm that uh, everything is fine and uh, then you proceed step by step uh, uh, to complete the return So initially you will select why you are filing the returns, whether you are above the exemption limits, what you need to file the returns or you are within it, but uh, maybe one of these three items are ticked, uh, like uh, you deposited more than one crore uh, uh, in a previous year, based on your business or something. So, uh, you will select the appropriate uh, things for your filing the returns, and then uh, it will say that it is for auto populated information, and you need to confirm them with cross checking. So, uh, it will give a summary page which will have different steps uh, starting with the personal information, then the income information, and uh, if there are any deductions and then the tax paid and the details and then what is the final tax liability whether uh, you need to pay some uh, final tax to the income tax department or whether it is the refund 
Not that all these informations are filled based on how it is. And, uh, if something is not captured there, you can edit, uh, modify the information in each step. And you can also download your 26 AS from the uh, ID portal. And not that it is sequence, like you can just randomly uh, update any of these sections. You go one by one, only after confirming the first uh, step, like personal information, you will be allowed to modify the next step, which is the income information. So it will start with your personal information. And uh, you can select the nature of employment. And uh, when you're filing, like 139, one is when you're filing before the deadline. And also, whether you're opting for a new tax regime. So, if you are still going with the old one, you can select the other ones and start selecting this. And uh, I think it will. Uh, auto populate the bank details from your profile if you have already done that and you will select which if there are multiple bank accounts you will select which one you want to use for it and uh, at the end you will confirm that step and then go back to the summary so once you confirm a step that will be reflected in the summary page and it has confirmed and also you can still modify that uh, step uh, in the future also for second. but by confirming a step uh, you'll be allowed to edit the next step and in the uh, next one the uh, source income details uh, it will show you the information populated by 26 series you can uh, edit modify these things if uh, something is not reflected and uh, you can also include like the income from the house property or even uh, the other sources like uh, bank interest and all. And in case of uh, family pension, uh, you can also mention the deduction from the family pension based on the company 57 to the Argo, which allows uh, minimum of 12,000 or one third of the family pension. Uh, that you are getting uh, to deduct from your source income. So family pension is something which you get as a pension and the main person who was getting the pension dies. So uh, in the next um, section, uh, it uh, displays the tax paid like the TDS uh, deducted, let's say, from your bank uh, for the interest paid. And for these entries, normally it shows uh, what is the TDS deducted, but it won't be considered uh, for the current uh, assessment here. So you need to edit these entries. So you can select them and then there will be edit button at the top right and, uh, and then it will show the details of that TDS entry like uh, the tan of the director and uh, how much tax deducted. So now you need to enter the same amount as claimed for this year if you want to match that uh, calculations and select the year of tax deduction. And also, uh, what is the income uh, against which this TDS was deducted? And the last section, tax liability. So, based on the other sections, uh, the two will calculate, uh, and um, maybe it will say uh, so much you need to pay or so much will be required to you. Once you are happy with that, you can confirm and uh, preview the information, uh, which is uh, kind of ITRB draft versions with all the details of the income and tax deducted.
and if there is anything you need to pay extra tax you can pay that tax I can turn that then proceed for submit to the return so it will do the validation of all the entries and then you can proceed to the verification and uh, you can if uh, verify um, or um, uh, print it out uh, ideally for uh, the recipe and then uh, send it uh, manually through the post. If you want to e-verify, it will ask you how you want to e-verify. The simplest will be through an OTP to your phone number registered with the other. And um, once you verify with the OTP, you can finally submit it. Uh, in some cases, there might be issues uh, with uh, e-verify to other OTP. It might say that uh, you are the other and PAN are not linked. But if you try to link, it might say that you are linked. So in such cases, if in case it's not resolved yet, you might have to print and uh, send a hard copy of the ATM for manual verification. So yeah, uh, once you successfully verify it, um, it ideally has to send uh, the ATRB form and uh, to your email ID at the registered email ID. But I think uh, recently it's not sending. So unless they fix that bug, you mm -hmm. can go back to the dashboard and um, go to the uh, view uh, file returns. Uh, there you can check for the current uh, assessment year and uh, it will allow you to download the uh, receipt which is the ITRB and also the download form which is the detailed uh, form for you. So that ends the filing your uh, ID. Hope uh, this was helpful.